Like many people, Maria Ramos relies on the internet for connecting to the outside world. But she is also one of many seniors on a fixed income, trying to keep up with inflation. She currently depends on the Affordable Connectivity Program, or ACP, to help pay for much needed internet access. When you're a senior and uh, your income is pretty set, you, I, no increases, everything goes up and my salary doesn't, my, it's my pension that I'm living off of. She lost her partner a year ago and moved into this small studio in West Covina. Now she relies heavily on the internet to chat virtually with her family and stay up to date with medical appointments. Doctor communication is all online. They send me uh, emails. I can respond to them online, and it's just my livelihood. Congress allocated more than $14 billion to launch the ACP during the pandemic. It provides a $30 government subsidy to low-income individuals or those who fell on hard times during COVID. It also aimed to improve the digital divide. You may recall this viral photo from the pandemic of two children sitting outside a Taco Bell in Salinas trying to get Wi-Fi for their classes. This is the um, FCC ACP portal. Jeff Skolnick runs a small internet service provider in LA that caters to affordable housing complexes. We may lose, I'd say, close to 20% of our business because of the ACP program going away. The FCC stopped accepting applications earlier this month in anticipation of the program running out of money by April. The agency says unless Congress takes action, one in six households nationwide may no longer be able to afford broadband internet. If you have children, uh, being able to uh, have the children do their homework, um, watch any sort of instructional videos. The ACP has some bipartisan support, but there are Republicans who argue the program is wasteful and subsidizes millions of households that already paid for broadband internet prior to the program. Skolnick isn't optimistic Congress will extend it. We have a game plan to try to um, come up with a package that they can afford and hopefully keep their service on. Ramos worries if the ACP disappears, she'll no longer be able to go online at home. I'd probably have to go to library, and again, you know, accessibility, I don't drive that much anymore. A woman who used to teach computer literacy to adults, now one of millions who could find themselves disconnected. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Let Spectrum News be your resource for balanced, in-depth political coverage, and click the subscribe button here. You can also download our app and watch us on TV to learn more about the candidates, where they stand on the issues, and more. We'll see you then.